Moose, Alabama. Start off the same every time. I guess I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, I've been petitioned to do this video, so I'm gonna do it for uh, Tyler. He built a cooker. It's a 24 by 60 elevated cabinet model. This uh, cooker here is on our modified trailer. This trailer is 53 inches, outside of fenders to outside of fenders. This cooker has a uh, just a standard shelf right here. It does not have the stainless shelf. So I would be very, very cognizant of the fact that if you have a shelf like this, you better foil that shelf, because if you don't, you're gonna get grease all down on your fenders and everything else. I would be really, you know, I would just foil it anyway. A lot of times I even foil my stainless shelves. I'm OCD. But this cooker here is our, it's not the straight back elevated cabinet model, it's our standard elevated cabinet model, which is 26 inches tall. And with it not being straight back, this shelf here is going to be a little bit shorter. Not drastically, but it's going to be a little bit narrower. All the lengths will be the same, relatively the same. But, uh, you know, you still got room up here to cook basically what you want to up here. It's just not quite as deep as these shelves right here. These shelves here, I think, are probably about close to 22 deep. Uh, 21, 3 quarter, 22, something like that deep. Uh, but anyway, uh, see, you got plenty of room on this cooker, you know. You always think about it, this cooker here, although it's a 60, you know, if you had a third shelf, say you had a third shelf, then you're gonna be up to what an 80 inch cooker would hold, or better, you know, so. It's just, you know, you're just, you just elevating the cabinet and, and you're shortening the trailer, so. But you know, it, it is what it is. You just can order what they want. Uh, we got our uh, River Country gauges right here, adjustable gauges. Uh, got a probe insert right here, here, and then you got uh, one right here, here on this back. Uh, we got both dampers, this one's right here, one from the main chamber. Takes heat, I mean, takes really heat and smoke through here. The one right here, I've stated it before, <clears throat> if you don't do anything, this box here is going to probably run about 150, 170, 175, just depending on how hot you're running the main chamber, because you're getting radiant heat off this firebox from the uh, you know, into here, but you can open both, open both dampers, open that stack, open this stack, you can pinch that stack, you just have to tweak it what works best for you, and uh, you can get the heat on up in here at a, at a cooking temp. It may vary a little bit from this chamber, but you know, you can get it up there. If you, if you know what you're doing, you cook enough, you can do it, it's not a problem. Uh, this, I see two shelves in this warmer, I think they just had not put, the, Tyler and them just had not put this shelf in here yet today, so I need to make sure that they know that. Uh, it's got a charcoal pan right here. It does not have an elevated grate. That is an option. It goes in this pan. You can elevate a grate off there. I don't have no problem putting charcoal right on that pan and lighting it and cooking with it. You know, you're going to get airflow through this pinwheel damper here. But, you know, to each his own. Everybody has their own theory. But I know many people that's doing that. I know many people that want to elevate it. That want it elevated. That's all. That is, that's an option and that is up to them. Got your charcoal baskets, all our charcoal baskets again. I'm out, slide lock, uh, kind of a you know double pattern in the bottom and uh prolongs the bottom of the of your basket. It helps the charcoal not to just burn and fall right through right quick or you know coals anyway. You know, as y'all know, you want to build a very good coal base to keep the it don't run off flames, it runs off, you know, a, a wood base, a coal base. So you want to get a good coal base in there. I start out with charcoal. Uh, a lot of people do. Some people put lump in there, lump charcoal, and uh, put your sticks on top of it, you know, make them a weave pattern and uh, light it with a weave burner. That's really your best option uh, to light it with a weave burner. I do not put uh, gas assist into the firebox. It doesn't need it. It's uh, much easier to get a weave burner doing gas assist. It's going to clog up one day and then you're going to have issues. Uh, and then two, somebody will put the gas on, leave it on, walk away, and it'll blow itself up. I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, again, this, this cooker here too has a uh, umbrella holder right here. It, it has a uh, spare tire, diamond plate fenders, you know, made by Tyler. Uh, and, you know, it's got all the goodies here, wood box and everything else. Uh, but, you know, like, like I said, Tyler asked me to, uh, to do, the, uh, do the video for him. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you can give Tyler a call at 205-799-0251. Or you can uh, email him, email him, you know, 
at tylercertifabrication.com. He's not very hard to get to in touch with during the day because he's working and the you know, best best route, you know, text him and then, then email him, okay? But again, just do that. Thank you.